Hi friends, today we are going to talk about the different ways that you can read a book. And I have a really cool book here. This book is called Flotsam. And we're gonna read this book together. So it starts off here on the first page. I can see a picture of a little boy. It looks like he's at the beach. He has a shovel and a pail and he's looking at something in the sand, maybe in the water, right where the sand and the water meet. Here's the first page of the book. It looks like a little creature. I wonder what creature that is. What do you think? And what's in the background? Oh, I see an eye. Somebody's eyeball. Looks like he's looking at the creature, examining it maybe. So I can see he's laying here on his towel on the beach. And it looks like he brought lots of stuff with him to the beach. He has a microscope and some binoculars, some shovels and other tools for maybe digging in the sand. Um, up here I see a net. It looks like maybe an umbrella or snorkeling gear. So he's very prepared for the beach. Then I see here a box with some stuff in it maybe some stuff he's collected, a bucket with some more stuff he's collected. And then he has a magnifying glass looking at this little creature. I think he might be maybe a scientist. He likes to explore things. Cause look at all these like scientific, the scientific equipment he has brought with him. It's not, I don't usually bring my microscope to the beach. Shovel, yes, microscope, not usually. Oh, let's see what's going on here. So he's looking around, he's looking over towards the water, he goes for a walk, he's carrying his shovel and his bucket, his pail, and then he sees what looks like a little crab. He's very interested in the crab. He lays down on the floor to examine the crab some more. And then, oh no, a big wave comes and knocks him over. Now he's all wet. Oh, and the wave went away and now he's stuck laying on the beach covered in seaweed. Look at his legs, they're all covered in seaweed. His bucket, everything fell out. His shovel, good thing he didn't lose those. The water didn't take him away, at least it left him behind. But look at what else the water left behind. There's a strange object there next to that crab. What does it look like to you? Let's see, what do you think he's gonna do now? I can tell he's looking at it. What do you think he's gonna do now? Oh, he picked it up and he's looking closely at it. I see a box. It says Melville underwater camera. Cool, underwater camera. So it looks like he is looking off into the distance. Oops, let's make sure you can see the page. He's looking off into the distance here. And then he starts, you know, it looks like walking, maybe running towards his friends or his family that he was sitting with and they're all examining it together. He brings it to the lifeguard to say, look, I found this. And the lifeguard is going, I don't know what that is. So it doesn't belong to the lifeguard. So then it looks like he starts to explore the camera a little bit. He opens it up and sees that there's this tube thing in it. He's wondering, what is that? So he leaves the beach and runs into town. And then he goes to a store called One Hour Photo. While he's there, there's a lady who looks very busy on the phone that he gives it to. And it is the film. He buys a new package of film to put in the camera. So he puts the new film in the camera and then he waits. Because what's the store called? The store is called One Hour Photo. So how long do you think he had to wait for? He waited and 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 then he went back into the store. So how long do you think he waited for? You think maybe one hour? I think so too. Then he went back to the beach where I'm guessing that was his family that he was with. And then he starts looking, he opens up the little envelope that they must have given him with the pictures. And look at the look on his face when he sees the books and the pictures. What do you think we're gonna see next in the book? You think we'll see the pictures? Whoa.
Look, it looks like maybe a robot fish with the rest of the fish. Cool. And he's looking closely at the pictures. And here's the next picture. An octopus and some fish sitting on some furniture at the bottom of the ocean. And this octopus is reading a book. Look at how awesome these pictures look. Do you think that this is what life is really like underwater? It'd be pretty cool if it was. I've never seen this, but maybe if you go super deep into the ocean, there are lots of things in the ocean that's not been discovered yet. Oh, look at this one. What do you think those are? Are those aliens? Is that a UFO? Do you see in the background the seahorses? Here's the next picture he saw. Starfish. Do you think they're dancing? Maybe they're fighting? It looks like maybe there are mountains on their backs. Maybe it's the, the islands are really the backs of starfish. Look at how big they are compared to those whales that are swimming. Whales are usually pretty big, so that means that those starfish must be huge. And then he found this picture. Look at this picture. It's a picture of a girl holding a picture of a boy holding a picture of somebody else who's holding a picture. Why do you think that picture is, why do you think this is a picture on the, on the camera? Look at him, he's very confused. He's, he's, he's thinking really hard about this. And he's he gets his magnifying glass and he's examining the picture of the girl holding a picture of the person holding a picture. And he's looking very closely. Very, very closely he's looking with his magnifying glass. And then he gets his microscope to look even closer. What do you think he's looking for? Why do you think he wants to look so close? Maybe it's to see who the very first person is. So we put his, his microscope at times 10 magnification, times 25, times 40, times 55. Why do you think that these pictures are now in black and white? All the other pictures were nice and colored, but these ones are in black and white. Why do you think that? Could it be because maybe these are really, really old? Here is time 70 magnification. This is the very first picture. He's not holding a picture in his hand, so you can tell that this is the very first picture. And look at how old it must be. You can tell from the clothes he's wearing, the clothes that people are wearing in the background. You can tell because the picture is, is in black and white. So how long do you think this camera has been around? You think that they've had it for a while? So now he's sitting on the beach and he's thinking and his family is telling him it's time to go, let's go. Do you think he's ready to go? I don't know, what, let's see what he does. He looks more at the pictures and then he looks at the camera and he sets the camera up. It's now set up on his bucket. Why do you think it's set up on his bucket to do what? To take a picture of himself holding the picture of the girl holding the picture of somebody else holding the picture. And he uses his shovel to push the button on the camera to take a picture of himself doing that. So he can continue this long, what seems to be a tradition of this camera just floating in the ocean. So there's his picture with the waves behind him. And then what does he do with the camera? It looks like he throws it back into the ocean for somebody else to find. And the camera gets stuck to a squid and it sees lots of fish and it goes by a whale 
and it gets carried by seahorses and it goes to the bottom of the ocean and it sees lots of really cool things at the bottom of the ocean. Look at all these creatures. And then it gets picked up by a bird. And now it's flying in the sky. Oh, and look, it must be in like Antarctica or something. You can see there are penguins here. And then it washes up on a beach. And what do you think is gonna happen when it washes up on a beach? Somebody else finds it. And what do you think they're gonna do? Probably the same thing as the boy who is the character in our story. And that's the end of our story. This is a really cool story. Do you wanna know why I like this story the most? Because there are no words in it. But even though there were no words to help tell the story, we still read this book. How did we read this book? Do you know how we read this book? Think hard. There are three ways to read a book. One way is to read the words. That's what we usually do. Another way is to read the pictures. We just read the pictures of this book. We read and we were able to see that he was examining the picture. I, I spoke out to you how, what I was thinking while I was reading this book by looking at the pictures, I was telling the story. The third way we, we read a book is by retelling the story. You retell what it is that you're seeing and you're reading. In your next lesson for reading, you're going to practice reading to self. And when you're reading, not only do you need to make sure you're reading the words, but you should look at the pictures too and see what the pictures tell you and what information the pictures have that can add to the story that you're reading.